most Android devices have a special boot mode called fast boot mode. And this is required in order to do certain modifications and certain commands using ADB and fast boot tools on the device. And since Xiaomi just recently released the Redmi 5, I'm going to show you how to boot the Redmi 5 and the Redmi 5 Plus into fast boot mode. This is important because I'll be referencing this in future articles, future tutorials. Because this is a very important step. So to start, we just need to hold the power button down for a few seconds. This is going to bring up the power menu. Then we're going to tap the power off option and then tap the power off option again. Once that's done, we're just going to wait a couple of seconds until it's completely powered down. And then we're going to be pressing and holding both the power button and the volume down buttons at the same time. So you just press and hold them down at the same time. And you can see it will instantly boot us into fast boot mode. Now this is where you will end up connecting your USB cable from the PC to the device so that you can run various commands or use Xiaomi's companion Windows programs. And then once you do all of that, you no will normally boot back up into Android. But as you can see, you're only going to be sitting in fast boot mode for a few seconds before it shuts the phone down again. And just to show you that again, we're going to press the volume down and the power button. And that's going to bring up this menu. And just like you saw before, if you accidentally boot into fast boot mode, or maybe you just wanted to test this out and you want to go back into Android, we're just going to wait a few seconds. So we're going we're gonna to see the device shut off again. And now from here, we're just going to press and hold the power button to power the device back on. So there's nothing to be afraid of if you accidentally boot it into fast boot mode. You definitely want to be careful of what you do to the device while you're in fast boot mode. Like if you are flashing certain firmware files, you're going to want to make sure that the USB cable is connected at all times. And there we have it. That is how to boot the Redmi 5 and the Redmi 5 Plus into fast boot mode.